okay according let's start with newton's third law newton's third law is let us assume that we have a table like this suppose it's a table okay let me draw it i'll try to draw it suppose we have a table like this okay and there is a book on it there is a book lying on it and we know that like from from previous lectures we know that that uh, weight of this book is acting in downward direction the weight of the book is acting in downward direction and uh, like this and it is balanced by it is balanced by the normal force which is in upward direction which is balanced by a normal force which is in upward direction now the suppose the weight is 20 newton and the normal force would also be 20 newton if the weight is 30 newtons then normal force will also be 30 newtons if weight is 40 newton the balanced force provided by the table is 40 newtons so actually it's a kind of contact force we know it in contact force so oh sorry so same amount of uh, balanced force is provided by the table now you can see when we have balanced forces then resultant force is zero resultant force is zero when resultant force is zero it means mass is not zero but acceleration is zero by newton's second law mass time acceleration and we know that it is acceleration which would be zero okay and we also know that when acceleration is zero it means it means uh, object is either in state of rest so you can see the object will be in state of rest in this case the thing which is important in this case is the weight is acting in downward direction so weight would be considered as action force because it is acting so initially it is start it starts acting at the same time table will offer a reverse force a reaction force in upward direction which is opposite to it reverse force is always a reaction force is always opposite to the action force so action force is the weight which is acting in downward direction and the reaction force is the tables force which is a normal force and it is opposite to the direction action force is in downward direction and reaction force is in upward direction so you can see both action force and reaction force are equal in magnitude and we know that magnitude means like 30 newton and 30 newtons both are equal in amount 
but their directions are opposite so one is acting in downward direction and the other one is acting in upward direction so this is what actually Newton's third law states according to Newton's third law action force but opposite in direction action force and reaction force both are equal in magnitude we have seen in our like example but opposite in direction action force what was uh, our action force? Our action force was 30 Newton weight of the object and reaction force which is our normal force which was acting in upward uh, which was 30 Newton both are equal are equal in magnitude means both are 30 30 Newtons and uh, but opposite in direction opposite in direction means one is acting in upward direction and other one is acting in downward direction uh, so let me write it for you so our action force was actually the weight of the object so I can say say action force is actually our weight of the book which was weight and uh, our reaction force reaction force was the normal force which is acting in upward direction and both are equal in magnitude you can see uh, e are equal in magnitude means weight is weight is actually 30 newtons and normal force is also 30 newtons both are equal in magnitude and you have seen that their direction was opposite so weight was actually acting in downward direction and our normal force was acting in upward direction so both were in opposite direction okay